Hello, I'm Carrie Ann and welcome to the Geek Girl Diaries. This week I've managed to get my hands on one of these. This is a BBC micro bit and they're being sent to children aged 11 across the UK as part of the BBC's Make It Digital. <laughs> to show you how to connect NeoPixels to your micro bit and program it in Python. You will need some crocodile clip cables and some NeoPixels to go with your micro bit. The BBC micro bit is a small computing device made especially for children. On one side the board has a 5x5 LED matrix, two buttons and some programmable pins. On the back you can see some more of the components and they're labelled. The micro bit includes a compass, accelerometer, Bluetooth antenna and a micro USB port so you can connect it to a computer. You can code your micro bit by visiting the BBC's website. You can program it in one of four ways, using a block style language, using touch develop, using Code Kingdom's platform that includes a block style language and JavaScript, or you can use Python. We are going to use Python in this tutorial. You can use the online editor you see here or you can use the offline editor Mu that I'll be using in this video. You can download a version for your computer or laptop by visiting Microbit Playground and clicking on Download Mu. Select the most up-to-date version and follow the install instructions. To program your Microbit, you will need to connect it via USB to a computer, laptop or Raspberry Pi. Once connected, your computer will see it as a removable storage device called Microbit. Now let's write a short program to test that the micro bit works. When using Python, you need to start your program by importing all the modules you need. We need to import the micro bit module. To do this, type from micro bit import star. Then type display.scroll open bracket open quotes hello close quotes and close bracket. This line of code will scroll the message hello across the LED matrix. Click save and name your file. Then click on flash to transfer your program to your micro bit. You should see the yellow light on the back of your micro bit flash. This means that your program is transferring. Do not unplug your micro bit. Once the light stops flashing, you can press the reset button on the back to see your message scroll. If nothing happens, try this step again. Next, take three crocodile clips and connect one end to the ground pin, one to the three volt pin, and finally one to the pin labelled zero on your micro bit. I'm going to use some NeoPixels I bought a while ago from my Codebug. You can purchase them via the Codebug website. Alternatively, you could use a NeoPixel stick like this one from Adafruit or Pimeroni, or you could just buy the NeoPixels in a strip. Be aware with micro bit you can only use eight in a row, so just make sure you're using eight or less. In this tutorial we're only going to use two. Take the other end of the ground crocodile clip and connect it to the ground pin on the NeoPixel Glowbug. Then connect the pin zero clip to the data in connector. Finally, connect the power to the five volt connector. Back in the Python editor, I've removed the display scroll command and imported another module, this time to program the NeoPixels. Now type np equals NeoPixel dot NeoPixel open bracket pin zero comma one close bracket. Note the capital letters in the second NeoPixel. This line of code tells the micro bit that we have one NeoPixel connected to pin zero and we are storing that information in a variable called np. Next, we need to tell the NeoPixel what colour to display. Type np open square bracket zero close square bracket equals open bracket two five five comma zero comma zero close bracket. This is the RGB colour for red. RGB stands for red, green and blue. And if you mix these colours, you get a whole rainbow of colours. Finally, type np.show open close bracket. This command tells the micro bit to tell the NeoPixel to show the red colour. Save your code and click on flash to transfer it to your micro bit. Once the yellow light stops flashing on the back of your device, press the reset button and your NeoPixel should turn red. Now I want my NeoPixel to display different colours, one after the other. I'm going to add different RGB values to my code and store each one as a variable. For example, type red 
equals, followed by the RGB color value for red, which, as we saw before, is 255,0,0. 0. Then type green equals, followed by the RGB value for green, and so on. You can find lots of these colors online by searching for them. So I've ended up with six. You might want to use some more. Next, we're going to store the color variables inside a list. Type colors equals open square bracket, red, comma, green, comma, blue, comma, and so on until you have all of your colors listed. Then close the list by using a closed square bracket. I want my colors to repeat forever, so I'm going to use a while true loop. Inside the loop, put the code that tells the NeoPixel what color to be. For code to repeat inside the loop, it needs to be indented by four spaces. We're going to use another Python module called random, which needs to be first imported at the top of your code. Type import random underneath import NeoPixel. Then navigate back to the loop and remove the red RGB color value we used before. Replace it with open bracket random dot choice open bracket, colors, close bracket, close bracket. Remember, colors is the name that we used for your list. This code will select a random color from your list every time around the loop. Add a sleep underneath by typing sleep, open bracket, one, zero, 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 close bracket. And that's roughly a second. Finally, move np.show, open, close bracket, to just under the sleep inside the loop. Save and transfer your code to your microbit to test that it works. Now you have one NeoPixel working. Let's add another in the chain. Connect three crocodile clips to the other side of your NeoPixel GoBug. Connect these to another NeoPixel GoBug in the same way as before, so that they're in a chain. Then in your code, add NP open square bracket one, close square bracket, inside your loop underneath the NP0 inside square brackets. Change line five from one to two inside the brackets as well, because now you've got two NeoPixels. Adding pretty NeoPixels is fun, but I also want to use the LED matrix on the micro bit itself, just like we did right at the start of this tutorial. This version of Python has some images that you can use. Here, I've used display.image and in brackets heart. This will display a lovely little heart image. You could try duck, skull, star, and more. So that's how easy it is to program your micro bit in Python. Where could you take this next? Could you create a reaction game so that each time the NeoPixels show the same color, you have to press a button? Could you use some conductive thread and remove the crocodile clips and sew this into a circuit on a garment to wear? Have a play and let me know how you get on. My name is Carrie Ann, you've been watching the Geek Girl Diaries, and remember, I'm just a mouse click away.